The Auto Mix feature in the Beatport DJ web app is a great one for having the software automatically mix tracks for you, which is really useful if you want to get to know music whilst doing other things, or if you're unable to mix for whatever reason and just want to put the software on autopilot. To activate it, just turn on the Auto Mix switch in the top right corner of the browser when there's a chart or playlist active below. This will then load the first track into deck one and start playing. The player also switches to auto mix mode, only shown when the compact player switch is deactivated, which simplifies the display, giving you a nice visual of the track that's playing and some handy controls below. There's also a full screen option in auto mix mode if you want to hide the browser and maximize the player. Well, it's what people know about themselves inside. If you just leave the app running in auto mix, then when the track gets to this white line here, which I can just skip ahead to to demonstrate. Then the next track in the list loads into deck two in the background and then gets mixed in shortly after. As this is happening, you can see a transition bar at the bottom showing you that the mix is currently in progress. If you want to move on to the next track even quicker, then you can use the skip button at any point to mix it in instantly. And there's also a shuffle button if you want to randomize the tracks being mixed. As default, tracks will be played at their original tempos due to the auto BPM feature. So this means that if the list contains tracks at very different tempos, then you should be prepared for some radical mixes. In Automix mode, you also get this row of buttons uh, with each one relating to a corresponding track in the chart or playlist below. And these allow you to jump to that particular track. So if I click on the seventh button here, it'll select the seventh track in the playlist. And I can now click Mix Now to mix that one in. Whilst Automix is active, tracks can no longer be loaded into the player. But coming out of Automix by deactivating the switch returns to normal app functionality and tracks can then be loaded and played in the normal way once again. So just a quick movie there to show how Automix works. And you can see what a useful feature it is for getting to know your music better and helping out in those moments when frankly, mixing isn't possible anymore. See you next time.